Good day everybody and welcome back to Maddie's workshop. I've had my artistical skills out today and um, as you probably know I don't normally do drawings or get a pencil out very often but I thought I'd better try and do something with this because I'm buggered if I could explain it properly. Um, I've got to make a tail stock for the indexing fixture on the shaper. Um, it's going to be pretty crude, really. Um, it's not going to be nothing fancy. Um, and I'm going to build it on the run, really. Bit of freestyle building again, which I'm sort of... That's the way I'd sort of do everything. But I've got a piece of two-inch square... Um, a bit of square stock. So I've, I've tried to draw this piece here to scale in a sense so I'm going to machine the bottom off and machine the top off um, which way does it go that way yeah so machine it off to this line here um, machine the top off which will give you a little bit more clearance for when the top of the shape it comes over if it yeah it comes over that edge of it um, 5-8 hole and then a 3-8 hole that'll take a 3-8 thread 24 I think it is thread and that'll be a 5-8 um, pin that'll go in the center of the job um, I don't know whether you can see it properly on the paper here but I'll machine the top of the pin off um, just to give that a little bit more clearance too um, this I've tried to draw the 3 8 side of it. Um, so it'll be a piece of thread come out of this end of it with a nut. Uh, the pin will have a recess cut into it that when you screw the nut, it'll pull the, pull the pin back and forwards. Um, there's plenty of these sorts. I'll sort of pinch this idea off YouTube anyway. A few different designs. And I think a lot of the um, tail stocks you get for rotary, uh, for indexing heads are the same so this is just a, a wild version of that um, on the top here it'll have a, a thumb screw that you can lock down into the onto the spindle onto the spindle onto the center pin um, whatever you want to call it yeah um, I have a 30 degree taper on this on the end of the pin um, as for the base, um, that'll be just suck it and see as I go. Um, the black flies are starting to hang around now, look at that, little suckers. There's not going to be a hell of a lot of travel in this, but on the table of the shaper, there's three T-slots, um, so if that's looking at the top of the table, Pretty wild, eh? Um, I'm going to have a heavy piece of flat that this is fixed to. And I'll be able to pick up two of the T-slots at all times, I'm hoping. Um, if I go back to here with my artistical skilling book, roughly this is what it's going to be um, look like that'll be um, this is where your T nuts will go in. Um, and I might even slot this so you can slot this back and forwards if you have, yeah, I don't know about that part yet. But then have a little bit of travel on this pin to come back and forwards and be able to lock it into the end of the job. Um, the idea is to try and keep this as short as possible so there's bugger all or very minimal deflection out of this as well. Um, the reason I went for 5.8 is I've got a next to brand new 5.8 ream so I know I'll be able to get a good a good nice hole um, and make it a yeah make a pin to suit a nice yeah a nice nice firm fit not a firm fit but a nice fit into there so <laughs> I'm no good at explaining this sort of stuff so I think it's just best if I go and start building it. 
it might be the way, the way to go I think um, so that's as bad as clear as mud isn't it I can't do yeah I just can't explain stuff like that it's just over my head anyway I'll get over to the shaper and I'll get this set up in the vise and um, machine this off Uh, we're set up finally. Um, got a 40 thou depth of cut dialed in, so we're just going to see how it goes on this one, I guess. bring you guys back when I get a bit further advanced down near the line and we can turn it over and tackle that little bit we've got to take off the top. Biggest cut I've ever taken on this shape. I've taken 100 the other day, but we've never taken 110. So, if I've got a nice sharp tool, we'll give it a crack and move it. As you show, you can move quite a bit of material fairly quick with the shape. bit of an update here um, change of design already this is the base um, that'll be the bottom so I don't know whether you can see a little center punch mark there and there that's where the main pin goes in it's main center that's where the 3 8 shredded hole is for the um, adjuster bolt um, I got this big wedge hitting at the side here. Looks like a V8 block when you stick that up on this end. Um, I'm going to take it off. Just machine this edge here off on both sides, top and bottom. So one here and one on the other side. Machine it off. I'll just narrow it up. Take the bulkiness out of it anyway. So yeah, it might look a bit better as well. So that's where I'm up to with that. If 
finished on the shaper for the time being anyway. Um, I've got all of the sides machined off. This being the top, the bottom down here. Um, it looks a lot better now. I've taken them big wings off the side. Um, that, they look bloody terrible. So I don't even know why I really drew it up like that. But Anyway, all plans are there to be changed, so I did. Um, it's just a matter now of put, um, putting a 5.8 hole through the top here for the for the main centre. Um, I've chucked it up. The base is square to the chuck. Um, used a little three-inch machine to square, a little more and right one, so it's pretty good. So it's all. So if I yeah. so if I did stuff up when I was machining on the shaper and I just made sure everything was square to this base. So this this uh, hole that I'm putting through here now should be true to the base. That's what I'm trying to say in a roundabout fashion. So um, I'm going to drill it out close to 5.8 and then ream it the last bit and have a real nice, yeah, hopefully have a nice good clean hole. So yeah, that's, that's where I'm up to. Probably could have filmed a little bit more of the shaper work, but I had interruptions and, yeah, you know it's like. I only got a spin and resin that's relatively slow because a fair bit of offset weight in the chuck. Take that out and have a look. We're gonna have to set it back up to do the, uh, the three eight hole.
started to thread off in the in the lathe and just um, bring it over the bench here to do it by hand It'd be quicker I am one day going to buy a set of spiral taps and one day going to motorize that tapping jig I built one day I've got to find a, diff a different chuck or a better system to hold the the taps in the tapping jig before I go too much further with that. I just you just can't hold the taps tight enough. It's a real pain to bum. I spend most of the time trying to keep the chuck tight. Come up with an idea one day. Done. Uh, this is just an old bolt I found. Um, it was close to 5.8. Um, I cut the head of it off and just drilled a centre in it and chucked it up on the on the thread. Um, what my plan is here is I'll get it down the dimension and then I'll spin it around and I'll put the taper on the thread end. Then it'll have me that'll give me a good good length of um, of rod here to, to work with so um, it's sitting I need 625 thou and I've got it sitting at 628 so I've only got 3 thou to take off so I'm going to dial in um, I've got to touch off again because I moved it out but I'll dial in um, just take 2 thou off and I might polish the last bit with some wet and dry and um, Take the last one down, take the last bit down so it's a nice, nice good fit. So. Um, I've got to make a long piece of thread, a 3 8 by 24 thread to go in the main body that the adjuster not to run on. Um, this is just an old bolt that I'll, um, I'll put a center in one end um, then I'll machine it down then I'll I'll cut the thread on it with the with a lathe. I won't run a die. I'll, I'll cut them with a lathe I think. Um, yeah so I don't know what sort of I don't think it was a high tensile bolt but it'll be okay for what a what it's going to be for so um i'll get it machined down i'll bring this back when i'm starting to cut the thread guys okay um i need to make a, a knob to fit on this that will run this in and out um i've roughly drawn it up um and this is all just be rough as nuts measurements and just sort of to fine tune it as I go. Um, so it'd be 950 thou, this little piece here, which will fit into that gap. And then it'll be a um, roughly about 300 thou and then a knob on the end of it. So yeah it might be around an inch and a quarter I might have to make that a bit smaller and put a knurl on the end of that um, the plan is I'll cut this off at that shoulder here um, and then I'm just going to use a bit of Loctite and um, Loctite this knob on I think will be the plan so and I've just got to measure that size there and um, yeah, make it so it's a nice fit and just sort of slip it over, lock tight it on and then it'll turn with that nice and yeah and just move this out nicely then 
because that's the plan. So I've got a piece in there chucked up in the lathe now. I've just started turning it down just to see what it was going to turn like, which is not turning too bad. So I had no idea what the material was. Um, yeah, so I'll get back over there and I'll keep at it. Off camera, I just drilled this out part way, so I only just drilled it in so far. I'll fill that with Loctite, and I've still got a centre hole in the end here. So when I Loctite it in, I can bring it up and centralise it, and just let it spin while it goes off. That should keep it roughly in the centre, I'm hoping. <laughs> As all, like all things I'll make, I hope it works. So, it's just a matter of parting this off now. And hopefully that works out well. I don't tend to have a lot of luck with parting stuff off. the last bit off with hacksaw I guess that just broke the tip clean off it. Oh well, I'll bring this back when I get that sorted out. There we are up to date so far. I've still got to put a point on the end, um, cut this one to length when I work out how what length I need, um, put a thumb screw in the top to lock the pin but um, as far as the clearances and that go, it's not too bad. Um, spins free. And uh, very happy with it. There is a little bit of regal room in the pin in this um, gap here. That's alright, once the pressure's on it, it won't really matter. Um, come up very well so I guess it's time to get on with the bottom section of it and then I once the bottom's done and mounted on the table and I know what distance and lengths I need for the for the thread and to, the, and to put the pin or other point on the center pin so we're ticking along just nice <laughs> 